Hey everybody, this video is going to be on the ZBrush Core Mini. Uh, I never really downloaded this software. I've only heard about it through ZBrush, you know, videos and everything else. I own ZBrush. I own two copies. But for those who don't have the money or don't want to dish out money, they say this is a free version. So I want to give it a look. I've installed it already. I've downloaded it to my computer and I'd like to see really what you can do with it. Probably people or kids who are in school, uh, in high school, or even younger, or if you're interested in anything like 3D or something like this. So I'm gonna turn it on and just show what what it is, I guess. Okay, so looking at the website, you can go here and actually download the software. You'll probably need to sign in or register, but free to download. That's the key right here, free to download. And that's not a bad deal. And ZBrush has always been very generous on their software on even just something as simple as this or Sculptress. So let's go ahead and dive into the mini to see what it is. And now I've seen the interface before and it looks very similar to the full version of ZBrush. So we're gonna see if we can just dive in and get something out of this and what what can you do with this what what's what's what is what is the power on this so i'm going to use some of the similar hotkeys and see if it works similar there you go and that's pretty much most of it the space bar is not there working like regular zbrush but that's okay so it looks like you got standard play build up inflate pinch move snake hook slash three and H polish. So these should get you um, a good roundabout to actually um, get you in there. Like actually, if you really want to start trying to learn to sculpt, you can't really go wrong with, um, yeah, it looks like the little bracket hotkeys work. So that's, that's a good thing. And so if you're interested in something or doing anything like what I post on my site or on, Facebook or whatever I don't know um, how you found what I post but sometimes you know this is this is the good way to get in there you just start let's see if there's a move brush there is a move brush let's let's click that and let me see if my tablet works with this yes the tablet does work so we're gonna stretch it out and you can actually let's see if the smooth works just like regular yes so, so far, this is looking like your, yeah, pretty much what ZBrush is. It, it's, it's, it's like clay, it's digital clay. So for anybody interested, whenever you see stuff that I post or I do, you, you can pretty much get that same experience of software. And this looks like it's purple and usually in purple and the other full version means it's in Sculptures Pro. So. Let's go turn on this polygons and that's usually what that means is it'll subdivide as it goes and if your machine can handle it and let's see if we make it bigger if it does it the opposite is so yeah so depending on your brush size it'll create the the division as needed so if you make a small brush it'll make more more polygons and stuff there and you can see this little symmetry you can turn it on or off if you do it off it's only one side so let's undo that because I always like symmetry so let's see what you see what we got here new sphere for sculpting a new stone so I guess you can do just two objects to import and this looks like the kind of like the decimation or decimate so let's click one it's already lower than that so let's go to the next one it's already lower than that let's go higher it's lower than that so I guess if you get too high that'll help you kind of tame whatever this is and let's see what we got we got a potato head looking kind of skeleton going on and then you can actually probably start sculpting in the little teeth and the little and I guess in case you're wondering what I'm sculpting I guess it could be a, like a goofy um, skull or a face we don't know let's just give him some lips you could be like a mummy guy and just, you know, and just start sculpting away. This is the fun part. This is where you don't know. Sometimes we don't know where we're going and we're just 
making stuff and that's where we can start doing this you can start sculpting in and it starts out rough but once you start getting the flow you're like all right now i got a uh, something to work with and so let's see let's let's put a chin i don't see masking let's let's go let's look around let's let's look around this kitchen so to speak it's like a kitchen right let's see if there's any other utensils in here that we can use so is there a mask no no masking so undo burn just push that back in so I'm guessing if you really want to mm, I see nothing with mask here's your Z intensity so let's crank that up and that's that's instant instant blob and that's pretty cool because you can adjust this and then you can smooth it out with the shift let's see just like regular ZBrush and you kind of got your little skeleton guy going on and just smooth that out and if I were to turn on the wireframe and just like ZBrush you can turn off the lines and the fill and we'll go ahead here we'll, we'll actually we'll kind of rough in something to to get an idea of what we can do um, see where it head ends up with because you know it, so we'll just go with that we'll give him neck give him some neck Adam's apple real quick this is real just rough this is just pretty much what you do in regular ZBrush it, it's 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 a light version of ZBrush is what it is the inflate let's do the inflate let's um, inflate his head let's make this bigger let's let's just boom and inflate it a little bit give it a little a little more adjustment and that was too much let's control Z or undo is there an undo button open open let's see is there an undo on screen indeed by control Z is control Z work yes all right so the, the brush was too big so let's scale it down because that's how much it deformed it but and you see these subdivisions is what decimation or the sculptures pro does actually so we can actually kind of give them a, a melon give them round it out and then smooth it back down so looking at this on the side we got your classic matte cap red wax and we've got basic toy plastic is always fun makes it get that wet skin shader is also in zbrush all of these are pretty much in ZBrush, and this is good for silhouette. So if you want to see the silhouette, let's see if that works. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Let's go a little darker. There you go, silhouette. So you kind of got a little bit of that silhouette feel going in there, and then silver and matte cap gray. So this is pretty cool. This this is something if if you're interested in doing a sculpting program and you're like I don't really want to put money down and I'm still not on the fence of what it is or why why you know what's what's the big deal right and so that's going in there clay build up and you can start just sculpting away and don't forget to save it's just like any other program you never know but this is very cool this is this is neat um, I've been looking for ways to kind of share with others to say hey this is something fun to do is just sculpting in general but if you can sculpt without the mess that's also fun so, so now it looks like it's getting a little heavier and let's see if there's a count where is the count this is local these are turning this is your floor this is a frame it let's see we can move it here and zoom out and we can rotate it from here and polygons so let's see if we can lower it lower this mesh so that's what it was it was now it's actually analyzing with um, with this and let's see the poly frames and now kind of let's drop it down we don't need it that high so it's analyzing and processing and there we go so lower lower polygons and looks good so let's try the snake hook let's give them oh look at that look at that if you want to give them some some kind of crazy stuff you can just go nuts with this you can make them like um oh they got weird 
yeah you can just do whatever you want with this so the snake hook your slash is usually good in the other program for cloth so if you want to slash the cloth in there you can start doing details like cloth and polish this is usually for hard surface or getting like a harder um, computerized look or, or hard edges for the for those you can do like claymation look too right here you can give a little clay style that's pretty cool that's that this is just jumping in a uh, little knowledge base of zbrush but still if you're ever watching videos and you're like Man, i want to i want to try to do something like that you know there's options out there but this is pretty cool this is neat you can actually create something from this and, and probably do simple meshes and simple basic models from here and and just go from that and just push and pull and go around and be creative this is this is really what this software is about <laughs> so let's see one more thing what is this export image and export for 3d oh wow look at that so let's click that so you can actually export an obj for 3d printing and let's see export an image and that goes to we'll just go to pictures i guess tests mini tests mini test and that's your image and we'll push ok let's go to our pictures I'm going I'm pulling this up and there you go and then you got the little logo in the corner but that's still besides the fact that it's free you can learn you can polish your skills or even if this is something you're interested in you can actually um, figure out if there's something you like you know and you can upgrade here upgrade and that's that once you're hooked you're hooked zebra central this is good to go and let's see what else we got let's go to stone this project has been changed I'd like to change it no look at this so now you can actually sculpt out of the stone and have a stone feel to it and it's actually got like the noise modifier on top of it let's turn on perspective is orthographic view and that's pretty cool this is actually something that you know you can actually learn and build from let's go back to the spear and yeah the spear is cleaner so this is just a short little video I just wanted to jump in real quick to see what the mini was all about and it looks like it's pretty sweet like just jumping in there and getting something some quick model and if you have like probably young ones or if you are a younger person who is interested in 3d this is probably a good little thing a little program to look at and actually get your you know see if you can learn from this and, and actually develop you know artistic claymation or clay skills in digital this digital workflow so yeah this short video I mean, look at that we can just go with the alien with the little mouth and the the snake hook and be his fangs there you go you got fangs so that's it for this video i guess you get the idea you know you can look around this this is also something you can look around in and yeah that's most of it so hopefully i learned something and hopefully you learned something this is this is a pretty cool program and it's free so check it out i'll try to put the link in the the bottom below thanks for watching